I don't know where to put this. I'm just going to hold it for now. You see this stack? <laughs> this is a lot of books. I, I'm expecting my father to call me when he sees this video. <laughs> What's good, gang? Welcome back to another video. Today, I want to talk about the books that I've got in the past few months. This is not. This was not all in one. This was not all in one shopping spree. Promise. This was collected over the span of months. I just haven't made a book haul video in a while. So I want to do all these at once. And it's aesthetic because it's my, it's my body next to a tower of books. And I freaking love it. Uh, we're going to go through all these books. We're going to go through each and every one. Why I bought it. And do, and do I recommend it to you? Maybe. Mm. But let's just get into the video. I don't want to hold it up any longer. The first two and the easiest ones to talk about are these two Blue Lock volumes 8 and 9? 7 and 8. Volume, Blue Lock volumes 7 and 8. And these are uh, Bado Shohei and um, Rayo. I forgot, his, I, forgot, I forgot his last name. It's Rayo, though. And listen, my policy is whenever a new Blue Lock volume comes out, I buy it. Th that is my policy. I see one that I don't have, I purchase it. End of story. It goes on my shelf, on my on my anime shelf right there. Okay, Blue Lock is what I'm currently collecting, and I love it. Okay, it is amazing. I love them. Go read Blue Lock. Go watch Blue Lock, and then come back to me so we can talk about Blue Lock. I, I next one is Arca. I call it Orca for no reason. It's actually Arca, and it's a book two. Okay, now you're gonna ask me, Arch, have you read book one? No. Do you know what book one is called? No. Why did you buy book two before you even bought book one? So here's the story, right? I was at Barnes and Noble with my fiance and I just wanted to buy some books. And so we went to the new 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 releases section and I saw Arca and I was like, oh, this book looks really cool. And it's a color I don't. <laughs> so sorry. Listen, listen. Okay. Hey, I get it. I get it. Okay. I get it. But hear me out. I am going to read Scorpica. Um, when I get my hands on it, I just wanted or Arca, Orca, Oarca. This this is Arca, okay? I'll tell you guys about it when I actually read it. But look, but look how cool it looks. Look at that snake on it. With the jewel in the middle, look at the jewel in the middle. Bro, the G.R. McAllister, whoever made your, um, the cover art for this popped off, Okay absolutely went nutty with it the next one is one that i got just recently and it's book three of the drowning empire series i like to call it the bone sh the bone shard series i don't like to call it the drowning empire because it makes sense to me i mean it makes sense but i just don't like it the bone shard trilogy is what i like to call it the bone shard war by andrea stewart i already have books one and two the bone shard daughter and the bone shard emperor <laughs> i couldn't find the Bone Shard Emperor. Okay, I have all three now. And so now I can properly make an archive review on this series, which is coming. And I am i haven't made it yet because your boy's been busy. Hence, with this guy. But Bone Shard Trilogy series is on the way. And it's purple. Like, come on, guys. Come on. Okay, the next thing is actually... Okay, you're going to hate me for this, okay? It's the same thing as Arca, right? I saw Chasm on that Barnes & Noble shelf, and I was like, I need this. I read the summary of it, or like the the book jacket synopsis, little teaser, and I was like, you know what? This looks interesting. And I actually looked in that Barnes & Noble's for book one, and they didn't have it. But I was like, I want to get it anyways. So I got book two, which is Chasm. And little do you know, I was actually... Um, I'll talk about this a little, little later, but I went to a small local bookshop here in Dallas, Texas and found book one. Isn't that so cool? So I got Ledge, which is book one of the Glacian trilogy and then Chasm, which is book two of the Glacian trilogy. So I'm super excited to read this and this. So, um, I'll let you guys know how it comes out. Like it's, it seems to be ice based based on the name. And if we know anything about me, it's I like thunder. I d there's, there's no correlation to the ice and thunder. I just wanted to say it. Okay, I'm going to find a place to put this real quick. Do we think this will stay? 
I think yes for now, and therefore it's gonna stay like this. Do you like cozy bookish apparel? Have you been looking for something minimal, not super ostentatious, not super like loud? Check out Fableware, my bookish apparel brand over on Etsy. Six cozy, cute designs, comfortable t-shirts, comfortable sweatshirts. Everybody who's got one so far loves them. All right, use this code on your screen right now to get $10 off your entire order. Use the link in the description below and use this code on your order. Save yourself some money, but get yourself some comfortable, cozy, lovely apparel. You can't have a cozy bookish reading session without Fableware. Thanks for listening. Back to the video. This is my mic, everybody. Let's go. Welcome to the Entro Archives YouTube channel. I'm Entro, and here we talk about books. Did you guys like that? <laughs> okay, the next two are completely different books, but they're from like the same source. So I am affiliated with affiliated with Book of the Month, which is a monthly book subscription service, amongst other things, that gives you a kind of a book off their monthly book list a month that they send to you. It's for like $5 a month. It's really, really good. And I actually like them because their selections are things that I would actually read. There's only been one month out of the four so far, five so far, that I was like skeptical and I skipped it. And they do give you the option to skip a month and not use the $5 that month and it just gives credit, credit towards the next month. So you're not wasting money necessarily every week. So if you're want to, you know, check out book of the month, my links below, and you should get a deal on it. If you're into like book subscription things, I like it because it's not super expensive. And it's, a, it's like an extra book a month that I can just get at my collection and that I can actually read. So the first one I want to talk about is you again, which is a romance novel. And I know nothing about it. Don't you guys just love getting book recommendations from me? I know nothing about the books and I just get them and I tell you, hey, read this. <laughs> it seems like a kind of a, not a rivals to lover, but like a, I don't like you and then I like you kind of book. So we'll see how it goes. It looks kind of almost like cute romancy type ones. And you know, I like to dabble in the romance scene every now and then, you know what I'm saying? So I will read that eventually. The next one, is Starling House by Alex Harrow. And I've heard of this one recently, and I believe this is on Reese Witherspoon's uh, book club list. Let me confirm that for you guys. I saw a picture about it just like this week about it. Yes, it is a Reese Witherspoon book club pick, Starling House by, um, by Alex Harrow. And it's a modern Gothic fantasy. Um, I think it's just a standalone book. I don't think it's a series. So that should be interesting. Um, and to be honest, the premise looked fine. I think I think I got this just to kind of explore more options in terms of my reading repertoire, my reading palette, just add something different to what I'm reading. And it's not that large of a book, that long of a book. So I thought it'd be a nice, like, one week kind of read once I get a little lighter on my workload and I can actually start reading. So this is also Starling House and this I got this from Book of the Month. I scratched myself. Ew. This. Can I take this off? Can I take, wait, is this? Let's go, these are not the print on stickers. Let's go. I'm gonna take the sticker off. Oh wait, you guys ready for this? Wait, I'm gonna put it up to the, I'm gonna put it up to the mic. you like that? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm weird. I know. I just got a random burst of energy this, this evening and wanted to talk to you guys. So I got The Adventures of Amina al-Sarafi, which is a amazing, apparently, book, okay? This has been the rave on online and in general, not just book talk, but everybody loves this book. And I was like, hmm, why? First of all, it's a Shannon Chakraborty book. And if you know anything about Shannon Chakraborty, she pulls out the biggest bangers, okay? She is easily one of the modern better authors, in my opinion. But I haven't read Amina al-Sarafi, and I want to and I will, and it's a standalone, I believe. Um, we have Fonda Lee talking about this, Roshni Jokshi, R.F. Qu Kwong, Andrea Stewart, Bone Shard, Ava Reed, Noreena Miller, Ayanna Gray, 
who wrote the Beasts of Prey trilogy, which we talked about last year. I don't think, I don't think, I don't remember if I actually finished reading book two of that. I only read book one. Maybe we should return to that. We should return to the Beasts of Prey trilogy. We really should. Wesley Chu, Tasha Suri, Jasmine Throne, which is also on the list to read. Um, but basically, she's a pirate. That's all you need to know. That's all I need to know. And I will be reading this book, maybe not this year. This might be a 2024 kind of thing. But I will be reading this book, okay? I don't read a lot of books when they're originally popular because I'm like, eh, it might just be a fad. It might just die down. Um, so I like to wait a little bit to read certain books. Um, that does not apply to Iron Flame, book two of the Empyrean, Empyrean Cycle trilogy coming out on November 7th. Uh, book two f to fourth wing. I will be reading that. Okay, it doesn't matter where I am in the world. I'm reading Iron Flame. Okay, I'm so close to the camera right now. Holy crap. This is a completely new experience for you guys, isn't it? This has to be a new experience for you guys because I'm usually back there talking, but now I'm up here with you guys. I know YouTube isn't going to push this at all still, but it's just, it, I, I'm having fun with this video, and I think that's the most important thing, okay? The next book we got is The Hurricane Wars by Thea Guanzan. I don't know anything about this book. It was purple, and it looked at the name. The name sounded interesting. The map looks great. I just spit everywhere. Look at this map. Okay? It has... It looks like different... Um, the... The... Aetherin archers, the different groups, over here you have, I'm assuming the different, what we call houses in more modern fantasy, the different tribes here. You have the Knight Empire, the Sardavan Empire, uh, the Sardavan Allford? No, the Sardavan, the Sardavan Allfold, and the Nenevar Dominion. I love when authors put all this type of legend information it with with the map it's like an it's like a one-stop shop for all like the little the lore of the book bro i love it i love it i'm a fan what are the hurricane wars about it's an orphan book bro literally every single book is like this person's an orphan why is being an orphan like their uh their hero arc like give them a family, give them give them parents. Okay, this is why we stand Percy Jackson. He still had his mom. I think I haven't read that book in so long. I forgot what happened to his mom. If anything, if anything actually happened to his mom, I completely forgot. But like, why are all protags always orphans? Like, find a different trope. It's always a solo orphan protag who has nobody, and then he has a whole found family. It's like an orphan to found family trope is so overdone to me at least it just feels overdone or it i don't know if it, and it hasn't been a recent thing like it's been a min it's been a long like a lot of times that people do this i don't know i'm just talking anyways the next two books this book i've been eyeing since last year since i first started my booktube journey and i was and i was doing that authors of october series which we did last where we talked about 31 octobers their bet their best books their recent books their upcoming books a little f fun facts about the authors i would highly check out, re recommend you check out that series and what i might do is put them all into one like long form video for you guys so you can just like run through all 31 at once would you like that i don't I don't even care if you like it. I'm going to give it to you anyway because I want to give. So I've been eyeing John Gwynn for a while. And if you know how John Gwynn looks, he looks like a real fantasy writer, a real fantasy man. So I picked up The Shadow of Gods and Hunger of Gods, which is a crazy, crazy, gory, like aggressive, bloody series of books. Basically... When the gods fought, it was a battle so savage that they destroyed themselves, leaving nothing but their bones in the broken land of Vigrid in their wake. Now, as the whispers of the war echo over the fjords and across the plains, fate follows in the footsteps of three warriors, a huntress in a perilous quest, a noble woman pursuing battle fame, and a thrall seeking retribution among the mercenaries known as the Bloodsworn. All three will change the course of the world as it fall once more falls under the shadow of the gods. 
Vigrid, hard ass name. Okay, I haven't sworn its entire video. Vigrid, hard ass name. This book cover, hard, hard book cover, okay? I don't know what you expected from this, but this is dope, okay? I've been wanting to read these for so long. I know they're very serious, very aggressive, very intense. I'm in no place to be reading an intense book right now because I just finished Gallant by V.E. Schwab, which wasn't intense. It was, it was more of a lighthearted sad book to me than like a heavy sad book. But I'm going to read these. Look how big they are. I'm going to read these. That's why I got them because I wanted to read them. And last but not least, Gallant was my first V.E. Schwab book, okay? Because I was venturing into the world of V.E. Schwab and I didn't want to start where everybody else was telling me to start which is a darker shade of magic. Boom. But I did pick up the darker shade of magic trilogy. I don't know what the actual trilogy itself is called. I just call it the darker shade of magic trilogy. I think it has a name. But anyways, um, I picked this up from that same local public, it's called the shades of magic, that's why. Um, it's, I picked this up from that small public library that, I, uh, not public library, that small, uh, a small business uh, library, uh, that small business bookstore that I went to, and I was so happy to find it like this. So they have a they have a they have a more updated book cover that came out, and it's not good. I personally don't like it. Okay, I follow Emma Skies on TikTok, who talks a lot about V.E. Schwab, and she talked about like the new updated books. And I looked at them, and I was like, they don't look that bad. And she like gave me a close up in her video of that book, and I was like. That's not, that doesn't look good. It does look very AI graphic-y, like they, like the graphic designer forgot to like blend certain shapes and stuff together. It didn't look good, okay? These, I'm gonna show you the book covers, right? These book covers look great. This is, this is the back, LOL. Look at the first one. A Darker Shade of Magic. It's the second one. Look how like, good the colors blend together the black white and red theme and just the the geometry of it all it's the geometry of it all bro it's so good like dog how do you how do you like those who thought of putting those when you have these oh and apparently there's a bonus map inside and i have no idea what the map is and i never opened it i want to open it on open it on video with you guys let's open this map It's a lap, it's a map of London's. Oh, this thing looks cool. You can't see my face, but hopefully you can see this. It's a map of the different London's that are in the book, which I'm assuming, I have no clue I haven't read the book at all, but I'm just assuming it's a map of the different London's of the book. And I think it's dope. And I kind of want to put it up, but I don't know where I'm going to put it up, but I will put it up at some point. After I figure out a way to straighten everything out. Thank you. So those are all the books that I got. Um, I'm super happy with them. I don't buy books often. I really only buy books that I know I will read. I have read, and I want to and I want to keep, um, or books that are intriguing to where I would like to read them. That's about it. I don't buy books for vanity purposes right now. And by vanity purposes, I mean I just like the way it looks, but I'm never going to read it. I just don't do that right now. Nothing wrong with it. Lynn's a book hoarder. Okay, nothing wrong with it but that's just not my cup of tea. So those are all the books that I got. <laughs> uh, I probably won't be doing a book haul until way later next year because I don't think I'll be buying a lot of books soon because I have a lot of books already. Um, but I did want to talk about real quickly. So I went to this local small bookstore in Dallas, Texas, okay? It's called Interbang Books. And they're very small, but they have a great selection. The owner and the people who work there are super nice. While I was there, um, I was carrying out my stack of books, and one of the one of the clerks was just like, "Do you want to you want to start a stack? Like we can just hold it over here for you, and you can come walk and get more books." I was like, "Thank you." Nobody's ever asked me holding a stack of books like, "Hey, do you want to start a stack? You must like, put it put it on the counter and then just keep keep walking around." Nobody's ever asked me that. I felt so nice and taken care of. I appreciated it. I want to make I want to go there and kind of bring you guys with me to shop there one day. Um, 
But regardless, Interbank Books, check them out, Dallas, Texas. I'm not being sponsored, affiliated, anything like that. They don't even know I exist, but I did want to give them a shout out because I want to support small local bookstores. If you know any of the small local bookstores in Dallas, Texas, send them my way so I can, I can find them, follow them, and go support them. That being said, I appreciate you watching thus far. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. Subscribe and like the video. Comment down below what you are reading, what you'd like to read. Do you have you read any of these books? What are your thoughts? Um, if you are a reader, if you're not a reader, come join us. Start your first book with us. Okay, I have a lot of recommendations for you on this channel, shorts and long form videos. You may be finding something here. All right. Anyways, you guys have a great rest of your day when you're watching this. I appreciate you all. Ta-ta.